All right, I'm here at RFC 34 in Tampa, Florida. Um, joining me right here is uh, Durbin Lopez, fights out of Team Dark Side Defiant Warrior. Uh, just tell me a little bit about what's been going on with you, man. We, you know, you and I both know, as a lot of people know, it's been hard for you to find a fight lately, harder to find people that will commit to fight you. Just tell me why you think that is and what you're doing to kind of keep yourself motivated. Uh, it's difficult. Uh, we're in the business of fighting. Nobody wants to fight. Uh, I haven't fought since last August. Uh, I fought Tim Williams, tough opponent. I, I left with the, with the, with the L, uh, but it's being difficult to grab a fight. I had eight people back out. I'm calling people out, and uh, they just keep saying no. They keep making up excuses. So Now, I mean, with the exception, obviously you say you took a loss in that last fight, but you, you've run through pretty much almost everybody you face. <laughs> uh, a stellar record for a young guy as yourself. And, and, and do you think that it's looking at those fights, looking at some of the guys that you fought and some of the guys that you've easily disposed of, that keeps people from wanting to take a fight with you? Or is it just kind of like that that last minute, like uh, fighter cold feet thing that some people get? Uh, I think it's, it's mostly picking and choosing. They want to pick the more the easier route to get to the UFC or whatever promotion they're trying to get into. Uh, but um, that's what they're doing. They're trying to pick the easy fight, uh, the fight that better fits their style. And uh, I feel like I match up uh, kind of hard for everyone else. So. Now you've had some big name guys that have they, that some promotions have tried uh, to book against you. You know they they've tried to set you up with some good fights, and even guys who, on paper, with their records, with their their experience, would seem like a heavy favorite over yourself. Even guys at that level are are denying to fight you. I mean, what, what what's the problem? Uh, it's uh, I'm, what they tell me. It's maybe name recognition. You know, I'm not out there as much as I should be, or I'm not well known. So the risk uh, to reward is not there for them. But like I said, this is the fight business. Uh, just fight. You know, you should be out there fighting, competing, like it was. You know, eight, ten years ago when everybody just fought every other month. Uh, now everybody again is just picking and choosing, and it's, it's, it's disheartening. So. So, and you mentioned this to me earlier. You know, you fought. You know, at 185, and like I said, pretty much run through everybody there. Now you've had some thoughts of potentially dropping to 170, maybe going there and seeing if it's easier for you to find fights there. What would that mean for yourself to make that extra cut? And and what would it mean for guys in that division at 170? You know, they got to look out for the pioneer. Oh well, people don't understand. Most of my fights have been two, three weeks notice. I mean, the, the longest time I've ever prepared for a fight was a month, and that was for uh, Tim Williams. Uh, and, you know, the cut's easy for me for 185. I know if I can get someone solid for, you know, they tell me three months in advance I'm going to get someone to fight, uh, I can for sure make 170, and uh, it'll be worthwhile. And I think with my range and uh, my uh, skill set, I think it'll be it'll be fun. And uh, lastly, uh, what, what can we expect to see from the Def Warrior guys tonight? Oh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, I can't wait. You know, a lot of these guys. Uh, we Four work, guys on the card. Yeah, we work uh, day, day, night, day in, day night. Uh, we work hard, so uh, I'm just excited, man. They'll be able to showcase uh, their skills. Uh, we have two heavyweights, one one uh, 135er, 145er, Mr. Alon Cruz. Uh, I think he's going to showcase a lot, uh, implement his skills that he's learned, and uh, I think he's going to show things that he's never shown in his other fights, and uh, I'm predicting a second-round uh, knockout. Right on. Well, this has been Durbin Lopez, and I'm Emmett Matthew here at RFC 34.